Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a pretty exciting video. If you are wanting to get into FPV and get your own ELRS radio and make it yours, or maybe you are a pro and you're just balling on a budget, this radio here is about to blow your mind. It is an ELRS radio packed with features and does it all for $45. <laughs> Let's go. All right, pilots, so here's the deal. This is a fourth generation FPV ELRS remote controller. If you are into drones and you want your own remote, you're not looking for one of those starter kit boo-boo juju boo-boos. You want a real radio that you can flash. You can put new firmware. You can change the wattage. You can charge it. You can set it up. You can tune it. You can do what you want to do to it. Then right here, you have met your demise. This is the Light Radio 4 because there was a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and this is now 4 and that for some reason that makes me feel better because that means it's not their first time dipping into this. This is their fourth time dipping into this so you know they've got it figured out. So this is going to be awesome and this is going to be great. Let's open this up. Ooh. Opening this up right away, if I pull it out, oh, that is nice. There's a nice matte finish on this black radio. I'm going to pull out what's left inside, and that looks to just be a manual and a USB Type-C to charge your radio. And this is not just to charge your radio. This is also a data cable because you can use the Beta FPV configurator and flash firmware and change settings and do other things with your radio. Here's your full manual if you really want to geek out and get into the specs. We're not going to go that crazy, but I do want to dive in and take a real look at this thing. So, let's go ahead and do that now. So it comes with gimbal protectors. Ugh. That right there holds a value because you can get some of these expensive radios and they don't even come with gimbal protectors. This guy does. So that means after you get done flying, whether you're a thumber or a pincher, this is gonna be comfortable for both. Let me show you. So here I am pinching, because this is me, I'm a pincher, and I do enjoy the way that feels. It actually reminds me, for $45, of what I spent $300 on, and that is this bad baby right here. Look at this. Pretty much identical. Now, does this bind to the DJI Air units? No. No, it does not. Does this bind to ELRS? No, no it does not. Do they both have buttons? Yes. Do they have power buttons? Do they have type C's? Yes. Do they have bind buttons? Yes. Do they have decent gimbals? Yes. Do they have lanyard holders? Yes. Switches on top, compact antennas, rollies and switchies and poppies and buttons and all the works that you could ask for? Yes. You're talking 45 to 300. This guy is doing its thing, and I'm even noticing 5D trim switches. <laughs> Top that. If you're a thumber, ooh, that feels good. I'm not a thumber, so doesn't really do it for me. But if I was, I bet I'd like it. I bet I'd like it. So we've got momentary switches. We've got dual switches. We've got three position switches. Oh, look at that one. We've got all the switches you need, including 5D buttons. That means up, down, left, right, and push. Does it all. These are awesome, awesome trim switches right here. The gimbals are very nice. The sticks feel good. And I guarantee you I can unscrew this just like I'm doing. Yep, and do the same thing that I did on here and upgrade to newer gimbals of the same or similar size. 
So that is a preference thing and you can purchase those and buy them and make it your own. Now, the other thing you may not be aware of, and let me teach you this, the reason why these come in two, two pieces, and I'm, I'm, this is just a quick tip, because maybe you're not gonna buy this, but maybe you have this, or maybe you've got another one or another one or whatever. Quick tip if you didn't know. So right here I'm pinching, and I might say, you know what, this isn't high enough, right? When I look down, this is too low or maybe it's too high. Maybe I don't like the height of this. That is why this comes in two pieces because what you'll do is you'll bring this to the height that you want. So let's bring this up, let's just say. I'm gonna bring it up to here. Now I'll grab the top piece, I'll support the bottom, and I will screw the top into the bottom, uh, give it a nice crank, and let me show you the difference. Do you see how this one is now taller than this one? Yes, you do. And that is because they are designed to be separated and locked in where you like them to be. And for $45, that is included on this radio. So let's dive into the radio itself. What are we looking at here? We've got bind button, setup button. We've got built-in battery that you're not really gonna mess with. Can you pop this open? Yes, you can, right? Just like you can on here. You can reach in and pop this open and get inside. What's inside? I don't know. We're not going that far into this. This is the gray version. This is $45. What I do want to touch on is this here is the gray version. It's kind of like a blackish grayish, but do you see that? That's nice, right? Well, for $5, not even a coffee at Starbucks, you can buy the limited twilight edition and you can get this radio in a beautiful beautiful like matte gray bluish color so you may be asking does this work only with the beta fpv drones no does this work only with the micro drones or the smaller drones no this works with all elrs receivers if you have one you can bind it and you can fly it so diving into a couple specs the radio does have an upgraded radio transmitter system inside of it. You've got the new buttons, you've got the new trim switches. You can actually offset compensation depending on what you're trying to do or if you want to balance something in flight. If something's off, you can use these trim switches to actually rebalance that just like you would on a full size Radio Master radio. That is pretty sweet. All right. You do have a new Bluetooth joystick mode for wireless connection to FPV simulators. It is compatible with computers, cell phones, tablets, Xboxes, and you can even do the DJI FPV simulator system. Yes, Bluetooth. That means I'm not sitting here with a cord out of this thing like blah, 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 blah. No, it is bound through Bluetooth. <laughs> It is a 2.4 ELRS system built in. It does have a Bluetooth transmitter. It has a Wi-Fi transmitter. It does have a long-lasting 8-hour battery. Now, that's going to be subject to the amount of wattage that you're running. Yes, did I mention you can adjust the wattage output of your ELRS on this. That means I can run 25 if I'm racing with my butts. I can do 50 if I'm trying to play around in my backyard or I can go a hundred if I'm trying to soar beyond the skies. So if you're pumping a hundred the whole time, you're probably not gonna get eight hours. And I don't know, that's just what the specs are on paper. We have a built-in 1S 2000 milliamp hour lie on battery, okay? Now, you do have a 15 watt max charging power, which means 40 minutes, give or take, you're full battery, you're ready to go back out. Or if you're out in the field and you need to charge up, plug her in, you're back at it. So we've pretty much covered it all, but there is one last thing I wanna to touch on. Because this is a beta FPV radio, it does fall under the umbrella of the beta FPV ecosystem, and they do have their own configurator. 
Yes, it was released back in December of 2024. It is now at version two, and it is literally a configurator. It's similar to Betaflight looking, not in relation to uh, dynamics and what it can do, but it does allow you to work on many, many flight controllers and drones from their lineup, but it also allows you to work on their radios. So I will put a link where you can find the configurator, download it, and then you can open it up and plug in and you can pig tune, you can update firmware, you can even troubleshoot and find issues or make adjustments. It's, it's super cool and this is what it looks like. Let me show you. And here it is. As you can see, you can do everything from, you know, the light brush, the Cetuses, the Aquilas. You can jump into the radio transmitters. One, two, two SEV, two, three, four, four SE, and even the light radio two sim. So as you can see, this is super cool to be a part of this ecosystem and have a radio that just isn't one function and one function only. No, it does it all and it's packed in this little tiny package and it's form factor is there. Don't get me wrong. We all know that. I just proved it. But even more so, the price tag, $45. <laughs> I'd like to see you top that. So I will say that I am impressed. Will I use this as my daily flyer? I won't. That's just the honest truth. But if you are balling on a budget or you are trying to you know, have different remotes for different things. This is a great opportunity for you. Maybe a beginner who's just diving in, unsure if he's gonna stick to it. Perfect setup for you. This is this is the way to go. So I'll put a link for you down in the video description. I hope that you guys will check out your own Light Radio 4. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did, and I will see you on the next one.